Hey everybody! So first of all, I do want to apologize for my audio and for my camera and everything. I'm working on getting a better camera so that my sound quality comes out better and you don't hear that the fan from the computer because right now I'm using the webcam to my computer. So that's why it probably sounds all fuzzy and stuff. But to get along with this, this video is basically for how um, I do my hair, what I do, the shampoos and conditioners and everything I use that I love and absolutely are working for my hair because I'm trying to get it to grow. That is my like main goal, is to get it to grow. And please, during this video, don't mind that right there. I probably just pointed it out, now you're probably going to realize it's there. It's kind of creepy, but, uh, you know, it's kind of like my guardian angel. And somebody just gave it to me, so I was like, oh, I'll just put it up there. But I just realized it's kind of creepy. It's actually very creepy. But anyways, um, so the first thing I want to say that's helping my hair is this folic acid. This is amazing stuff. It has saved my hair. I remember being back in the 12th grade and I was like, oh, I'm just going to take and just like try to grow my hair out. And this actually seriously worked. This is the only thing I was using that was like different and my hair like grew. It was like, it was like down here. And then like I went through like the process of like I dyed it and I started chopping it off and I got split ends and all this stuff. And my hair is kind of hard to maintain because it's multiracial hair. And it's kind of like weird. It's got weird textures. It'll get oily and then it'll get like dry. It's like oily and then dry. And it's like, what do you want to do today? Like, seriously. It's so confusing. Um, so, yeah, this is amazing. I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, the usual dosage in like multivitamins and stuff is 400 in CGs. But I use the 800 because I'm getting you know, extra. Ugh. So also, the new, other new thing that I've tried and it's working for my hair is oils. <laughs> so I got this oil not at a beauty store, but I got it at like a, a grocery store. So I was looking and I was like, how do I? How can I find some oils? And I didn't know, like you know, there's different oils you can get inside like beauty salons and stuff, but. I went ahead and got pure sweet almond oil. And this is amazing stuff for your hair. Because I don't really eat nuts that much. And so, like peanuts and almonds and stuff. So this, I just put that right on my hair like the night before I'm going to wash it. And I just let it soak in there. And it just soaks it up and my hair just becomes like luscious and like alive again. And when I wash it, it just becomes shiny and amazing. Amazing. So, next, I would like to talk about inside the shower. So, first of all, I do use a conditioner, a shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've tried many. I, I honestly don't like expensive shampoos because I feel like they make my hair itch. Or my hair itch. My scalp itch a lot. Like, I'm not sure why. It just... It like really irritates my scalp, and so I don't really like to use sulfates, and I don't like to use anything that like would strip my hair. All I'm trying to do when I use shampoo is just to like cleanse my hair, just my scalp area, um, and maybe like you know, and like a quick scrub throughout my hair. And I use this. This is amazing. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil. Um, rejuvenating shampoo. It's amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it's color safe, sulfate free, and paraben free. And this one doesn't, I've noticed because it doesn't, it's sulfate free, it doesn't like shampoo a lot. Like it doesn't like lather up a lot. It's kind of like, it lathers up a little bit, which I'm not used to, but um, I really like it because it really hydrates my hair, it keeps it nice and like shiny and it gives like the oils back to it, it gives life back to it and I just, I really like it, it and, and honestly it does it does a really good job and it's made my hair um, clean, no a scalp irritation, it's, it's great, I love it. Um, I think I got this for like maybe $13. 13 to 16. I'll put it, I'll put it in the descriptions below. Next is my my conditioner. God, I can't talk today. Um, I use the 
um, Frederick's Furrica. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's a gloss and conditioner. And then basically, I like this because it's, um, it's like lightweight and it gives them moisture and it feels amazing to my hair. And it's, uh, it's amazing. It's got olive oil in it and stuff. I'm using a lot of oils, which is so good for your hair. You should use. And, um, kind of like speed this up. Uh, next, when I get out of the shower, I like, you know, towel it, blot it, and I quickly put on from here down this. This is a leave-in conditioner. Um, it's in Neutrogena's Triple Moisture. I either like this leave-in conditioner or I like the Aussie's Hair Insurance Conditioner um, leave-in and the spray. It smells, both of these smell great, great. You need a leave-in conditioner for your hair to keep it nice and moisturized, at least especially from there and down, because this is where it's the most driest. And that's where I put most of my conditioner too. It just and this is just extra like amazingness. And this makes your hair like have silk and it's got like great and for the UV rays and stuff. Next would be my serums. My hair is curly. I straighten it. When I um get out of the shower I notice that this part of my hair is um, frizzy and this part is not. So weird. So I use um, John Frederica, John Frida, yeah, John Frida collection. Oh my god. And um, this is the Frizz Ease hair serum. I use the original formula. It's amazing. It has, it smells good. You put it in your hair. I put it just kind of like in the top and it keeps it like nice and shiny and like smooth and like the frizz goes away. And then I put on, I do a mixture. This is going to sound so weird. I don't put serums on before. So all that I just showed you before, I do that. And then I like put in like my leave-in conditioner too. I just spritz some in my hand. of um, got to be crazy sleek. I just spritz some in my leave-in conditioner. I mean, not leave-in conditioner. Just, um, hair, heat protectant spray. And I like rub it in and I put that all over my hair. Then I like blow dry it. Then I straighten it my hair and then I put on a mixture of three serums. I use the Paul Mitchell um, Skinny Serum. Amazing. Smells like watermelon. Then I put on Kenner Shine Serum. I mix these together and then I mix also the pomegranate green tea um, from Organics. And I kind of like mix a squirt of each in my hand and then I put it on after it's um, straightened. This, I, I, I do again from here down, and then I put it on like half of up here. And then after that, I spray my hair with the Dove Damage Therapy Hairspray. It does not make your hair hard at all. It's very flexible. It smells amazing. My hair doesn't smell burnt afterwards. I'm going to use this so your hair doesn't smell burnt afterwards. Because my hair smells burnt afterwards. I'm not sure why, but it does. And so I use this, and it's a flexible hold, and it conditions your hair, and it smells wonderful. And I can go on about this because it's one of my favorite. Have, I have to, have to use this. Have to. Like, okay, I have to. If I had to think why I have to, like, I just have to. Like, this is amazing. And so that is the products I use for my hair. It kind of seems like a lot, but if you feel like it's not necessary for a lot. I would only say use like a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. If you straighten your hair, I would definitely suggest you use the heat protection spray. Um, the serums are not necessarily ne necessary unless you want to get like shine and like if you want to make your hair like silky and get that just an extra boost of shine. I do that, but. I, that's all I would suggest. I, I only use those just to like get the, like the final product and like I like shine and I like serums. So like you don't have to, you don't have to even mix that out that much, honestly. You just have to use like one really good one. I just I just like to combine them because they all have like good qualities and like kind of like get a different like smell. I feel like. But um, this has been a great review. Um, I'm working on my next video for you guys soon. So please tune in and to next week for my other video. All right, well, I know you me, got me, good.
hair review. Oh, yeah.